Joining me now is Tom Littleton. Tom is back to tell us what's going on with Awana. Maybe you've been a fan of Awana. Maybe you went to Awana like I did a few times as a kid. Uh, maybe you've been a big supporter of Awana. But like so many institutions we once trusted, it appears to be going off the rails. That's according to Tom Littleton. We'll let Tom tell us. And again, if, it, if the folks at Awana want to join us live on the air, they could do that. And we'll gladly listen to them, and we'll have a, a debate about what Tom's saying. But I don't think they're going to join us. Joining me now is Tom Olson. Tom, welcome to the broadcast. Thanks for joining us. Hello, Brandon. Uh, praying for you and praying for your family. And uh, sorry for these uh, trials you're going through, but really appreciate you taking a stand, standing firm. And sadly, what you're talking about going on in the government uh, is bleeding over into the church. And that's really what this report is. If you think the ship is sinking and you make your way to a lifeboat, you think the church and these ministries like Awana are going to be a refuge or a lifeboat, uh, you find out that they've been contaminated and uh, they're sinking, too, in the same uh in the same storm of uh, cultural Marxism. Mm -hmm. Well, I was I was up rather late last night going through the list of things you sent me and trying to vet some of the things you sent me, and it was very, very disturbing. Um, you've got a lot of this, and you've got a lot of it hyperlinked on your website, 30piecesofsilver.org, correct? Correct. Okay. Right. And you and I had uh, reported on Awana last year because uh, they have... Uh, uh, put together a new organization called Child Discipleship Forum, which is holding events. And uh, they brought in a lot of woke speakers, uh, people who support BLM, people who uh, promote uh, the LGBT agenda, at least uh, on some level. Uh, activist speakers who come right out of the heart of the Gospel Coalition, which you've talked a lot about, we've talked about a lot about. So uh, they, they've uh, sort of cast a new vision with Child Discipleship Forum, but this is Awana's CEO and a couple of the uh, underlings who are making this uh, new uh, vision casting, and they're calling it uh, New Maps. They are going to provide new maps. So they've rolled out resources as part of those uh, new maps. They say the old maps are not working, and uh, it's like uh, back when the flat earthers thought uh, they had the, the great uh, uh, way to chart the, um, you know, this this uh, the earth and the seas and uh, to sail. And then uh, suddenly, here comes some guy with a new map that the earth is round. Well. Those of us who believe that Awana teaching Bible verses was a great ministry, apparently we're the flat earthers and we've got the old maps. Uh, so they want to change that. Wow. So let's talk about um, how they're doing this, because there's um, a group, help me with the name, is it called AXIS? A-X-I-S? <laughs> Yes, Axis.org. It's a Colorado Springs-based ministry. It's headquartered close to Focus on the Family. It also is uh, apparently provides resources for Focus on the Family. They worked with Ravi Zacharias Ministries. They've well, that, also that, in, that ended really well, didn't it? Yeah, that, <laughs> that ended very, very badly. Uh, but they also have formed a partnership with uh, ACSI, the Association of Christian Schools International, which you and I have also uh, reported about uh, suffering the same kind of woke intrusion with many of these same speakers. So AXIS has what are called conversation guides for parents on issues like LGBTQ and gender. And you and I know very well that these conversation guides are a favorite tool of the left. Human Rights Campaign has these same type of conversation guides, even Christian conversation guides, so-called. Uh, but these conversation guides are part of the dialectic process. And that's what you were you know, referring to. There's not any common ground to be achieved. There is no consensus to be achieved if you're borrowing from a godless or a gay radical or racial radical cultural Marxist uh, um, or critical theory informed worldview, there's no common ground between that and 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 uh, and Christian faith. So uh, yet they are able to put forth these conversation guides so that parents will uh, look to them in order to be able to have uh, conversations with their children. So this is actually designed to invade both your home, you know, your at home conversations, your discipleship of your children and uh, your home Bible studies and your church workers and uh, providing these conversation guides and resources. It's well, really 
It's really the most uh, problematic thing that uh, I've seen going on yet in uh, children's uh, ministries. Here's one of them right here. Uh, it is at axis.org, A-X-I-S. Uh, a Parent's Guide to LGBTQ Plus and Your Teen. By the way, there was another one that wasn't for teens. It was for younger children. Did I read correctly last night that it said that it was sponsored by Awana, that Awana helped make the guide possible? Uh, yeah, Awana and Axis are that that guide is their partnership. But uh, there were four uh, Axis resources that were in Awana's initial article about this that were dead links. They all went to the 404 error page and uh, dead links. So that cued me in that there was something missing, that there was something being removed. And that's when I found this type of uh, resource. And of course, if you go back to it and scroll down, you can see that they use the language of gay actors. Okay, hold right there. We come back. We're going to show you more of this. Gender, I look at this. Gender identity, parent guide, talk about, powered by, and there is on the right there on the screen, powered by Awana. Powered by Awana, prepared by Axis. Now, you may say, but that's all right, Brandon. We should be trying to help insulate our young kids from all this propaganda that's in the culture now. Isn't that what they're just trying to do? Well, let's ask Tom Littleton that. Aren't they just trying to give these young kids a, 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 an answer to refute the brainwashing, and particularly the teens? Or is it promoting leftist groups? We'll be right back. Joining me now is Tom Littleton of 30piecesofsilver.org. He joins us to talk about concerns he has about what's happening to, well, a once trusted institution, Awana. And when I went to the website there, I see uh, childdiscipleship.org, gender identity parent guide, talk about, powered by Awana, prepared by Axis. Uh, what, what do we find in this gender identity uh, uh, talk about parent guide? What age group is this supposed to be for, Tom? Well, I, I think it's primarily uh, for all children's ministries. Uh, I, I don't know what level of age appropriateness they uh, uh, are now gauging to be uh, uh, implied or uh, implemented. But what they're doing is they're trying to train uh, the parents and train their uh, the youth workers in the children's ministers. So uh, it is primarily a children's ministry uh, and some from preschool on. So Awana has to be intending these resources to be used for children, even preschool and up. They're really not saying. But Axis uh, wants you to be their go-to person to bring this stuff to your kids and then also to be supplemented when you take them to uh, church and entrust them in the hands of your children's ministry. The, the, uh, look at this. Look at this as it starts right out there. A parent's guide to LGBTQ plus and your teen. Right. This, this is a yeah. quote. Let me see if I can get this back on. This is a quote coming from uh, the daughter of Johnny Depp, apparently, right? Johnny Depp's yeah, this daughter. Is, this is, this is on the. This is one of the other Axis uh, resources. The Iwana one is kind of benign, but the partnership uh, with Axis points parents to all of Axis resources. Okay. So, so, so look this, at this, this quote. This quote yeah. by Lily Rose Depp, Johnny Depp's daughter. Quote. You don't have to label your sexuality. So many kids these days are not labeling their sexuality. And I think that's so cool. If you like something one day, then you do. And if you like something else the other day, it's whatever. You don't have to label yourself because it's not set in stone. It's so fluid. Now, are they putting that quote up there as an endorsement or are they just showing that that's what the culture is saying? What they're doing, that's what the culture is saying. But scroll on down to the section where it says people to know uh, and and love. Okay, they have all of these terms, the glossary of terms. Keep scrolling uh, to the section. Um, go back, I think. Go back and uh, people see they know this, and love. This, yeah, this study is from uh, Gay, Lesbian, and Straight Education Network. Okay, that is the organization that Bill Clinton and Obama uh, both. Uh, empowered to set the tone in public education and promote the uh, sexual discussions going on there with teachers. Uh, this um, organization helped start the um, the Gay Straight Alliance. They're the ones who started the 
uh, April Day of Silence in order to show solidarity with with teens. So they're using it, um, uh, terminology that is going to be seeker friendly for them. And you can see uh, it's one thing to talk about LGBT concerns and abstract concept. Uh, it's another altogether with your best friend or your family members wrestling with gender confusion or their sexual preference. Well, this is what uh, Human Rights Campaign actually says. If you know someone and love someone who is identifies as LGBT, you will be less likely to resist change. So these are all social change efforts. And they're also this glossary of terms that, that AXIS is using comes from uh, GLAD, which is the Gay and Lesbian uh, Alliance Against Defamation. You and I uh, reported on them recently leading the way at the World Economic Forum to promote the LGBTQ agenda and push back against the states who are pushing um, you know, uh, through legislation to stop uh, the, the crazy transgender surgeries and stuff. Uh, they're calling all that uh, hate and uh, hate against uh, LGBTQ teens. So GLAD and um, Gay, Lesbian, Straight Education Network are two of the main activist organizations, and AXIS is using them as go-to sources to educate Christian parents on what they really need to know. If you scroll on down, they actually use uh, in the... Um, uh, get uh, educated section of that same uh, parents guide. They refer to human rights campaign. If you can find that one, scroll down to it. Uh, it's worth a read. It's very profound uh, what they say about HRC. Okay. Yeah. In fact, I just did that while ago. Human rights. Human rights. Let me type that in and do control F. Human rights. There it is. Six, there it is. Human yeah, rights get, campaign. So there they are. We do great damage through our ignorance. If we're yeah. willing to educate ourselves on these topics, we'll, we'll, we will speak with greater accuracy, credibility, and compassion. When you meet <laughs> people who identify as LGBTQ+, expressing curiosity and interest in their lives, shows that you care about them. Learn the terminology we mentioned earlier because it's the language your kids are using. Become familiar with the Human Rights Campaign, the largest LBG, LGBTQ+, community in the country. If you want to know what the LGBTQ+, community values, you need to follow the HRC, especially if your kids identify as LGBTQ+. See also the other sources throughout this guide, as well as additional resources section at the end. So they're linking right to one of the biggest pro-LGBTQ groups in the nation, correct? Yeah, this, this is the group that is pushing the Equality Act which will uh, make uh, any kind of opposition to LGBTQ uh, into hate speech. It will add LGBTQ and SOGI language to uh, the civil rights law of uh, 1964 and to every federal uh, and non-discrimination laws. It is HRC who is lobbying on uh, at your state capital, at your federal capital, and pushing its candidates into the mayor's office in your hometown. HRC is the one lobbied who lobbied our city council for all this human rights uh, group to be set up to push the LGBTQ laws in, uh, through city ordinances. This is a political pact. Uh, and it is funded by tens of millions of dollars every year. And guys like Paul Singer, who are supporting the Equality Act, uh, also support even the Christian compromises that supposedly stop short of the Equality Act becoming a law. But uh, this is AXIS, the direct partner resourcing parents in these conversation guides. AXIS is actually working directly with and promoting the ideology and the terminology of uh, GLAD and Human Rights Campaign and Gay, Lesbian, Straight Education has worked. This is the belly of the beast of the entire LGBTQ movement. It is why we know what the words LGBTQ uh, plus stand for and why it has become since the Obama administration on the front burner of our culture and steamrolling its way through our lives and the church. Indeed it is. All right, what else do you want us to know, Tom? Well, uh, this uh, I met with the Human Rights Campaign when they came here uh, to Birmingham, a friend and I in apologetics, and we withstood them basically at the city gate. And they said that they know if, if you love somebody, then they can manipulate you. But they said they want homosexuality taken off the sin list. They want access to all of our churches, and they're demanding it. Uh, and then they uh, moved to uh, Montgomery, set up shop, and uh, uh, have been lobbying actively in our state house and governor's office ever since. Another partner with AXIS that has just developed 
Uh, besides their partnership with ACSI, which I mentioned, which is Christian Education Umbrella, uh, is uh, they are partners with the Ann campaign leader, Lisa Fields, and her organization, Jude 3 Project. So they've just announced this big partnership. At the same time, Awana has rolled out their work with Axis. We see that an ad campaign, and campaign rather, leader, Lisa Fields and her organization are also melding their resources with, with this Awana partner. And campaign, as you know, uh, is a group that is pushing third wave politics. Uh, its leadership comes from the Obama Foundation by Michael Ware, who is the Obama guy's ambassador to America's Believers, and Justin uh, Gibney, a guy who uh, was an Obama and a um, uh, Hillary delegate to the Democratic National uh, Conventions. So we're looking at things right out of the belly of the beast of the Democratic Party and the Obama Foundation that are also linked up and partnered with Axis, which is rolling out the resources <laughs> and preparing them for Awana and you as parents uh, through Awana's influence in your church for your youth and children's ministers as well. This right. is as bad, as bad as it can get that they're targeting your kids right in your own home and in your own church. How has Awana tried to push back against this? Because I'm assuming they have, right? <laughs> well, they sent a, a nasty gram to a couple of my friends who were promoting the things you and I did uh, back in, the, in uh, the fall exposing them. And uh, then they wrote a five page letter uh, trying to disclaim all of this uh, stuff and uh, discredit the the uh, the exposure. And then, of course, they admitted to these activist uh, speakers that they've drawn up, like Sam Alberry and Derwin Gray has a BLM guy uh, endorser and uh, Shy um, Lynn. Uh, and all these other sexual activists, they said, well, just because we uh, put them on the platform doesn't mean we agree with everything they've ever said. Well, nobody is saying that, but you are finding speakers for the very, um, you know, for your new uh, relaunch and your new maps, your new vision casting right out of the heart of the Gospel Coalition, people who have been exposed since at least 2018 for their critical theories and cultural Marxist ties and their radical activism on LGBT and race and pushing social justice. So it's obvious where you're wanting to take us. Now you add this uh, Axis organization. So all of the denials that Matt Markins, who is the CEO of, uh, of Awana, and I've also personally engaged him via email, and he, he let me know, and I, I'm talking to you this one time, I'm never talking to you again. Uh, I did say, look, this is what's happening. It's undeniable. And, and obviously, uh, just a few months later, they, uh, they launched these new resources and partnership. So they're going deeper and deeper uh, into this black hole. Uh, it's so sad. It's, you know, it's kind of, the, again, the long march through the institutions that we were warned about, right? It absolutely is. This is what that looks like. When you hear that, that said, this is what it looks like, and it is happening at warp speed. Let's go to Robert, line one. Robert, thanks for calling in today, Robert. Hey, good afternoon, brother, and good afternoon, brother Tom. Hey, um, just a word of edification for both of you. Out of the book of Peter, chapter one, verse seven, okay? That the trial of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto the praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Hey, I want to tell you something. I'm a Jewish believer, been born again 46 years. Shavuot is about to take place, which is in combination with Pentecost. It is speculated amongst uh, Messianic Jews that that could possibly be our rapture date. Amen. We're ready for that. Thank you, Robert. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. This does seem in keeping with what the Scripture talks about, a great falling away, that even the elect would be deceived if possible. A lot of times people leave out that last part of the verse, Tom, if it were possible. Yeah. True believers are, they can be deceived at a period of time, but generally true believers will get right back on track, and they're certainly not going to be deceived in following a false Christ, a false Messiah, a false gospel. But my, 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 aren't we fa fa seeing a lot of falling away from traditionally held biblical truth? 
Yeah, true. And Awana is such uh, an illustration of that because the very name of it means uh, uh, approved that workmen. Uh, approved, approved workmen, workmen uh, are not ashamed. Are not ashamed. Yeah. Approved workmen are not ashamed. And I mean, my sons participated in the uh, uh, Awana Grand Prix. I've watched so many friends. Uh, whose children and grandchildren have learned the word of God through this ministry. And now here you see all this woke business flooding in for no good reason. Uh, I think uh, perhaps uh, the fact that their revenue and sales have dropped uh, by uh, three quarters of what they once were, and that their uh, their donations have gone from 30% of their revenue up to over 72% of their annual revenue probably gives us a clue that somebody's money is flooding into Awana and these other organizations and bringing with it this agenda. Uh, you know, the, the sad part about that is uh, whatever has caused this, uh, you know, <laughs> my uh, blog uh, or really website is not really a blog. I don't give many of my own opinions there. Uh, but the website is called 30 Pieces of Silver for a reason. People are taking this money and they're selling us out. They're selling out our kids. They're selling out these historic ministries for nothing, you know, for a, a bowl of, uh, of pottage. You know, and uh, this is nothing new in Scripture. You know, human nature never changes. But, man, there is a high price to pay for this compromise. And there are great promises for those who refuse to compromise, remain faithful. And who wants to put your children on the altars of, uh, of Molech? for this culture, and, and that includes this compromised church culture that would be stoking the fires of the gods of Moloch with the Human Rights Campaign and GLAAD and, and Gay, Lesbian, Straight Education Network. I mean, we need to stand firm and be wise Bereans and not trust these people. Would you be open to having a debate with any of the leaders at Awana or Axis if they should want to come on my broadcast and debate you? Oh, absolutely. Uh, they need to try to explain why they've made these bad choices. I mean, they, they can't deny that they are bad choices. Uh, they need to explain it and they need to justify, if they can, uh, why they think these resources, along with, uh, with everything else they're doing, uh, casting a new vision and these new maps <laughs> and these conversation guides, why that needs to replace the simplicity of teaching kids the Bible and memorizing uh, verses by verses. Amen. I mean, that, uh, that's been a profoundly effective ministry all these years.